No, it's for food and in there, usually, last like, time, it's for being short. That's my food in that, man. That is my food. <laughs> oh, that's it. So for your food oh. for the day, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cause never know what's gonna happen, do you know what I mean? So, and you've got to eat at specific times, right? Yeah, every hour, man, every hour, man. Yeah. So you're looking forward to your fight tomorrow, because he's not the opponent you expected and probably trained for, but yeah, nevertheless, there's a the fight on the line. Yeah, a couple of times Misha's pulled out, I've been ready for him, and it hasn't happened, replacement, so it's not nothing new, but obviously it's frustrating, but I've got a new opponent, his, his game, he's had 29 fights, so... Have you seen anything about him at that time? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen a few of his fights, and that is a stand-up opponent. Right. Um, but as I say, I'm happy wherever the fight goes. What do you see as your strengths, though? Right? Um, I'll say my strengths on my ground, but my, my striking's coming up. So if anything, soon it'll be that we're like, ah, oh, he's going to take me down. I ain't going to knock me out, bro. You know what I mean? So it's... It's coming, it's coming along. I know you wanted this fight a little while ago, didn't you? Yeah, you felt you were ready a little while ago. Well, as long, long as a time. year ago, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. Why did it happen, in your opinion? Um, well, I, I think, personally, obviously, they were just looking out for the champ at the time. Obviously, so, I mean, it were ready for him for some reason or something. He had other plans. He's gone to Bama now. But, as I say, that's, that's gone now, man. So, my time is now, man. So, yeah, obviously, rain, man. yeah, obviously, I was... I know I'd never got my title shot, sure everyone else did, and I thought I should have got my shot before them. But as I say, everyone has their own path, so how do you hope that uh, 2012 goes for you then? It's going well, I think. I think when, when I win this title, a couple more defences, and I think big things will start, start coming. So you're, you're shooting beyond UCMMA, ultimately? Um, well, I'm saying I'm never looking, obviously, over at UCMMA. UCMMA is a good quality show, I love the show. So I, I just think once you've got that title, Big things happen. All, all the previous champs have either gone there or, got, or, or gone to UFC or gone or got somewhere else bigger, right. if you know what I'm saying. I so do. it's just a matter of time. So. There's a few people in that light like, heavyweight division yeah. that obviously you're going to have to deal with or yeah. we're going to believe that you know on the come up they can yeah. get rid of you. Uh, yeah. who, who would they be then? Name some of their, their names. Who, who the boys yeah. think, think they're going to be? Yeah. Um, who, I'll say your likely, uh, uh, likely opponents for 22. Um, I think Ben Smith, because it is, is coming up. Um, Headhunter, and as they mentioned earlier in the room, um, Ian Martel. Who's the strongest of those three? Out of the three of them, uh, I, I couldn't really pick. I couldn't, I couldn't pick. I shot one out of them three. They all had their own and different great in games. One's, one's a wrestler. That's just like so to say, one's a wrestler. Everyone's, I'll say, probably strikers. So, so I couldn't really pick a strong one out of all three of them. They're all, all tough boys, but I'm number one. Uh, well, tell I'm us a little one. bit about how you got into the whole MMA scene. And for those who don't um, know, it's probably well documented otherwise. Well, the, f the funny thing was, um, I used to do a bit of kickboxing. Never, it never got any, anything apart from just a few weeks, few, few days training every now and then. And then um, my friend Cliff Hall is a is a MMA fighter himself. Um, it was always like come down to the gym, good gym here and that. So I went down, and then before you know it, it was like, oh, hang on a minute, I like this. How long ago was that? Um, five years now. Yeah. Um, so I started doing it, and then my trainer was like, why don't you um, have a, a semi pro? Won the first semi pro. Two weeks later, I had my second semi pro for um, for a title, and then just escalated from there, man. Who are some of your role models and idols? Who do you look up to? In this sport? Um, People who've done it. Royce Gracie, mm -hmm. Randy Couture. Um, so you've like, done your homework. Then. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, Vitor. I uh, first started watching. Um, I think it was like Ultimate Fighter, um, like collection where it had um, a few classic fights and like Tank Abbott and all that kind of stuff. I was watching all that and I was like, oh, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. What do you make of the current light heavyweight champion at the moment, UFC? Sick. Sick. I've got a long way to go before I'm, I'm, I'm jumping his leg. Is, there, is anybody going to beat him? Is he, he looks um, at the moment. I, I can't really say anyone that's going to beat him. Man. I, maybe Anderson, but that's only if, if they put that fight, if they put that fight together. Mm. But other than that, I can't really see anyone, anyone testing him. He's, is that good? Is that good? Yeah, I'll throw my health to him. Is, is that good? Well, listen, good luck for tomorrow. Yeah, thank you very much. We'll speak to you after Yeah, that. no worries. Cheers for the interview. Thank you.